Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, what I'd like to illustrate is how I almost never use VLOOKUP anymore. And instead, I'm using Power Query to compare and combine information. So let's just take a quick look at this data. Over here on the left, we have information about who our customers are. Here in the middle, we have information about who our employees are. And here on the right hand side, we have information about sales that we've had. So of course, a sale goes to a customer. And then that customer's fuller detailed information is over here. And every customer has an account manager and the information about that account manager is held over here. So these pieces of information are related. And usually if I wanted to do a report, let's say I wanted to show all 2019 sales for all enterprise customers um, through the hammer mill facility. That would involve me doing a lot of VLOOKUPs because I would have to VLOOKUP from the customer ID number to the appropriate customer, then pull back who the account manager is and look up based on who the account manager is, what facility that account manager works in. So how can we do this more easily? If all the information is here in Excel, the first step is to click on each of the different entries then convert it into a table, then put it into Power Query. So the first step is click on a data set, go to the Insert tab and insert a table. I'm going to name this first table TBL Customers. Click on the second data set, convert it into a table. I'll use Control T here and call it TBL Employees. And then finally, the third data set on the right, click on the data set, hit control T and turn that into a table that I will call TBL sales. So I have my three tables and the three tables each need to go into Power Query so that I can do some work on them. So I'll click on my customer table first, go to the data tab and tell it to get the data from a table or range. That will populate it into Power Query for me where I'll just turn it into a connection because it's not quite ready yet. So I got my customer table in here. Again, I'm just going to go to the home tab, hit close and load, close and load two, and load it to a connection. Then click okay. And repeat for the other two tables. So table in the middle for employees, data tab from table or range, put it into Power Query and load it as a connection. And the third table, the sales table, click on the table from table or range and load it to a connection. Now I'll return to Power Query with those three tables at my disposal. Go to the Get Data drop-down menu and click on Launch Power Query Editor. And let's say that we need to start with our sales. I'll click on TBL Sales and there are thousands and thousands, I think there's over 100,000 sales in here from different years. The first thing I'll do is go to my sale date drop down menu and I will filter this based on the date that I'm looking for. If I'm only looking for 2019, after or equal to 1, 1 of 2019, before or equal to 12, 31 of 2019, and hit OK. Then I want to merge queries. I want to bring in information and I want to merge the queries as new. At this stage, I will take my customer ID column from TBL sales and match it with the same column in TBL customers, my customer ID column. You can see out of the 2,281 sales in the year 2019, we have matched customers for each and every one of them and then I click OK. Now once I do that joining, it's up to me what pieces of information I need to actually bring in. So I click on the little arrows next to TBL customers, and I don't need to bring in who the ID number is, but I do need to include who the account manager is, and what name they have, and maybe what type and region as well. I'll uncheck the checkbox here for using the original column name for the prefix, just leaving the column names exactly as they are, and then hit OK. And that right there 
is now four VLOOKUPs that I've done in just a few seconds. Now, using the information about who those customers' account managers are, I can now look up information about the employees. I can go to Merge Queries, and this time, because I'm already working on a new query, I'll just choose Merge Queries, and I'll use the column for who the account manager is to bring in information from the employee table. And right there is my employee ID column, and again, it's found 2,281 matches for 2,281 rows. And then I click OK. And this time around, I'll uncheck the checkbox for select all columns and only bring in the facility name, because that might be the only thing I'm interested in here, and click OK. And so now for every single sale, I know who the customer is, what type of customer they are, what region, and what facility we're talking about. I can now click on Close and Load and load that directly into a new sheet in my workbook and use this to create a pivot table by going to the Insert tab at the top of the screen and clicking on Pivot Table, I can create a pivot table from this merged data set and tell it that I want to know, based on the facility, what our set total sales were for that period of time. And there it is.